मित्रता के राह पर पवित्रता के राह पर हमको चलते जाना है पवित्रता के राह पर हमको चलते जाना है जो भी मिले राह में उसे मंजिल पर पहुंचाना है जो भी मिले राह में उसे मंजिल पर पहुंचाना है पवित्रता के राह पर हमको चलते जाना है पवित्रता के राह पर दृष्टि निर्विकारी हो मन में हो शोधता दृष्टि निर्विकारी हो सबको पावन करना यही भावना हो सबको पावन करना यही भावना हो परम पिता का ये संदेश परम पिता का ये संदेश सबको यही सुनाना है पवित्रता के राह पर हमको चलते जाना है पवित्रता के राह पर हमको चलते जाना है जो भी मिले राह में उसे मंजिल पर पहुंचाना है जो भी मिले राह में उसे मंजिल पर पहुंचाना है पवित्रता के राह पर हमको चलते जाना है पवित्रता के राह पर पवित्रता ही सर्व गुणों की एक अनोखी खान है हर आत्मा और हर एक धर्म की यही निराली शान है पवित्रता ही सर्व गुणों की एक अनोखी खान है हर आत्मा और हर एक धर्म की यही निराली शान है पवित्रता का झंडा पवित्रता का झंडा हर दिल पे लहराना है पवित्रता के राह पर हमको चलते जाना है पवित्रता के राह पर हमको चलते जाना है जो भी मिले राह में उसे मंजिल पर पहुंचाना है जो भी मिले राह में उसे मंजिल पर पहुंचाना है पवित्रता के राह पर हमको चलते जाना है पवित्रता के राह पर हमको चलते जाना है Om Shanti All of you who are walking on the path of purity who are God 
and goddesses of purity best elevated children of baba who have accepted this difficult path of purity where the rest of the world is deeply into the impurities and vices and from there all of you are growing like a detached lotus flower madhuban is welcoming you on this third episode of our special series of celibacy our family is spreading the fragrance of purity all over the world through all of you i'm sure baba will be showering a lot of blessings on all of us just like how i said we got our body consciousness from the age of uh, copper and iron age and this is the peak of body consciousness among these we have taken the oath of purity and moving forward together in scriptures there are many uh, popular stories there was a saint called vishvamitra he was so spiritual and renouncing so hard that even the the king of all the uh, de deities indra he felt his throne is shaken but even that strong spiritual saint was shaken by the lust and that small event changed his whole life so we all are here together to decide together that we will not break our dharnas our oaths and keep walking forward and forward on this path of purity we welcome suraj bhai who has done so many experiments and elevate he has elevated so many souls higher up who are walking on the path of purity the suraj bhai will throw some light on this topic of today om shanti all of you pure souls are beauty of this world baba says in murli all of you are stars of this world purity is the royalty and prosperity super sensual pleasure lies in purity but it happens when we maintain the purity very easily and we can do that when we are in soul consciousness sitting in the best self respect and then take the pure powerful vibrations from baba that will help if we don't get it then then the purity will not become the power we it will just be a small light bulb but we have to spray the light of our purity throughout the world we have to become the lighthouse 
which throws the light all over the world and spreads onto all the souls, all the living souls of this world. Baba says that purity is the mother of peace and joy. Baba says it very clearly that if you are feeling hurt or sad, then pure impurity is somewhere inside. Self-satisfaction rises above from the base of purity. Purity is the foundation. Purity does not lim uh, stay limited up to celibacy. But we have to free ourselves from wasted thoughts. Baba says that when us souls, us children, will rise above from the regular common thoughts, common vices. Purity will not settle until we come up with the best elevated thoughts and in us. So all the vices, lust, pride, attachment, and greed, we have to attain supremacy on all these four. We also have to gain power on idleness. So we have to make the great goal of our life that we must reach to the utmost purity. In the example is like the moon of the full moon day purity will shine like that that's a great achievement and great state to achieve on the path of purity the strength of our purity is the foundation of the world when our purity takes the form of well wishes, then the world rises up. So we must check ourselves that the irritation, anger, check yourself. Is it uh, destroying our purity? And then greed, desires. If we want to earn a lot of money, we want to become a wealthy person. If we are competitive in attaining the wealth, it's not right. Wealth of this world is perishable, destroyable. We must think of golden age now. Collecting things, desire to eat a lot of different food, we must get rid of all of that. When we become pure, our self-respect makes us sit in, in the best, highest throne. We just rise above all of these common things and our goal of life just changed, changes to something different. We don't run after false uh, appreciation or praises. In Bharat, people just wait for doors of temples to open and uh, get in the lines to do that uh, darshan of deities. Our goal is to become one like that, the deities. And when we just keep moving forward in the path of purity, Everything else just left behind.
we are becoming king of the organs of actions. We are attaining a detachment from the worldly attractions. Baba says, when our organs of actions become cool and quiet and calm, then you will become Sato Pradhan. There are few of them who have become like that. We still have a long way to go. Who are pure, they, are, they don't have the pride. So we have to check ourselves. Are we, are we getting the false pride of ourselves? Our pride shows when, how we walk. So check ourselves. As we achieve the control on such vices, we feel calm, satisfied, santustamani. And the qualities, the innate qualities of souls just progresses and rises up above. The glow increases. We create a pure aura around us. And few souls aura reaches to all over the world. Nature also has to become pure. Human beings have made it so impure. Even the nature is tamopradhan and painful, hurtful. The vegetables and fruits are not tasty, tasty. And the grains are not so uh, strength providing anymore. So when the nature is impure, nature is tamopradhan, it, will, it shows up in the form of earthquake, lot of rain, floods, lot of heat. These are the forms of nature showing the impurity. So us pure souls have a lot of responsibility on us. The purified souls have a lot of responsibility on them. Our purity will ignite purity of nature purity of other factors in the world. The instrument souls who are pure, they will have more and more students, more and more souls will get attracted towards them and they will be able to do a lot of seva, a lot of service in the Baba's Yajna. They don't scold anyone. They don't insult anyone. They just support everyone because a lot of sad, stressful souls will come to them. They will be burning from within and the instrument teachers will make them feel cool. They will welcome all the souls so we must have to become like Baba. We have to become like Father. And when we attain that state, this drama will end and we all will be able to go into golden age. Let's do the questions now. When we listen to Baba's great 
sentences in Murli, they inspire us. While walking on this path, we face difficulties and hurdles. I started talking uh, about this topic today, explain this character, this of a uh, Vishwamitra saint. So if the soul like Vishwamitra broke the great intense purity in just one moment, where was the problem? The answer is Vishwamitra was, it's just a story, but let's talk about it. He, did, he didn't have the connection with the Supreme Father. He didn't have connection with the incorporeal God. And when we don't get attached with the incorporeal God, then that can happen. In the age of devote, devotees, a devotion, they didn't have any knowledge of incorporeal God. So that's why a slight distraction, a slight distraction may make person move from their hard achieved purity or determinations. In these days, lust is the life. That's how everyone has accepted. Money is everything and lust is life. People are just being crazy about it. There's two things, not just even youth, but even the older generation is same way. So increase the yoga with Baba. As I said before, do yoga on soul consciousness, five forms. And then we will keep walking on the path of purity. Many great souls, many great people may have la uh, left this path. They, they may say different excuses, but that's not true. The impurity happened to them. So many Kumar, they left Baba. They did a lot of seva. They even wrote the words, we will not leave Baba with their blood. Still, they left. Why? Because they didn't follow the yoga. They didn't follow the daily routine. When we listen to Murli in soul consciousness, everything gets so much boost. The spirituality it gets boosted. When we do yoga at Amrit Vela, I'm saying that if 1,200,000 Brahmins are here today, same amount of Brahmins have left, but they will come, but they have lost everything. So we are walking with Gyan and Yoga, the knowledge and Yoga. When we go out into the field, Kumar faces so many Mangas, Apsaras who broke the oath of Vishwamitra. And for sisters, there are so many men out there. They take form of lust. And in, in Brahmin life, We might get a little bit, little bit confused with that. that. That's happened. That is what actually happens. 
in Brahmin life. At some point, we get attached with something. Some people might feel it slowly. Some people just get attracted right away. We must keep this churning in head. We were like this for two ages, two uh, ages, copper and iron age. Now it, our aim is different. We must detach with all this. Our path is the path of purity now. Baba says, the souls come to us to become pure. And if we take them to the path of impurity, that is a great scene. There was a Murli, very strong Murli. When we go to temple and look at the deities, uh, I, idol of deities, they are so pure. We cannot have impure thoughts, but there are some sinners who even do that. So same way, when they come to Gyan, looking at instrument teacher, if, we, if they make such thoughts, impure thoughts, that is a great scene. They have left the yagya, but they are not happy and they are in guilt. So such souls will be sad and depressed throughout their life. Whoever performs such scenes, they are victims of depression now. So that is why we have to make it very clear what path we want to walk on. We will, we will face all the low quality souls now. They all will come. They come to us to become pure. So we have to give a divine gaze, divine love to them. We don't have to connect to them. We have to make them connect to Baba. That is why we are master data. We are the master giver. We are the one who makes the lower, low quality souls to great souls. Because it's in my memory of early age that I am a deity soul. This is my avatar to make the world pure. No one's impurity can affect me. I have to make them pure and I have to go back to the incorporeal world with Baba. Dear brother, your talks always inspire us. So this one thing, when this great low quality souls come to us by working with them, working with them on daily basis. How can we set the limit that we have to work only up to this extent? If we go beyond that, then we can get uh, detached from our path. So love and attachment and detachment are different words. If someone comes to us, we have to show love because that soul has come back to the real family. But then immediately we have to become detached. We don't have to leave our greatness. Our gaze, divine gaze, is there to ben uh, uh, benefit them. We are the world benefactor souls. If some sad souls come to us, 
if someone like that comes to us and they tell us the story of sadness and then we feel uh, sympathetic to them, we want to uh, help them. If we get carried and sympathize more towards them, that is our mistake. We have to show the love, but at the same time, we have to become detached. Baba says it, Pyare and Nyare, Nyare and Pyare. We never have to forget our aim and object. We have to always remember we are with Baba, who, are, who is with us. Baba is the world benefactor. We never say them that let, let's work together and we will get rid of your pains. Help them get attached with Baba. There is so much uh, suffering, worries, and stress out there, but we must maintain our limit in counseling. The, the meaning of counseling is like we have to hear them out, but then again, we have to set the boundary. Many who were in this godly family, but they have left and now they are sad and unhappy. So maybe they are listening today. So they made mistakes while knowing or unknowing, but they are walking with that heaviness in the head on and on the soul. So is there any possibility to get rid of this sad life, depressed life? Yes, there is solution to that. There are many who have accepted the drama and moved on. I would like to say this, that there are so many psychiatric doctors who do counseling they become at, at the, towards the end of their life, they become psychiatric patients. So I was asking to someone that why, why is this? So the doctor said that if someone is telling you pains about their life, then you have to experience their pain and the, only then you can treat or help them. I say that's completely wrong. If, if you are uh, imitating their suffering in you, something will remain in, in you, in your subconscious, and that will gradually take a bigger form and effect on your subconscious. So we have to think like it's their life, their pains, it's not mine. Okay, so the Souls who left the yagya, okay, they are le they left, but some came back. See, they came back and started their new life again, participating in seva. They used their body in service by being in the path of service and spirituality. They can elevate their souls again to higher level. If someone comes back in the path of spirituality and purity, Baba always forgives them. We must remember this. So if we become free of that heaviness and accept the drama, then we can attain that higher level again. I have many examples like that. They have reached a higher level now. So that's why such souls has to make the chart of their yoga with Baba more than four hours. So the account of good deeds will exceed the account of bad deeds or sins.
So even even if we get two uh, one or two punches on our face, we can get up again and get ahead into the race. Baba sometimes says very strict words to make us understand. Sometimes. But the Brahmin family, if someone goes out of spirituality or in, and goes into impurity, the Brahmin family looks down on them and they talk very bad about and even it doesn't matter how hard that uh, soul tries to get up, but the Brahmin family makes it very difficult. Our instrument teachers, they give so much love. There is no doubt about it. If someone like that comes back, if we make them feel guilty, that's wrong. If, if that soul is accepting the mistake and trying to rise up again, and if we keep talking about the mistakes they made, that's very, very wrong. That is our weakness. That's not our soul consciousness. That's not the knowledge or determination in drama. That will make our position backward and the other soul who had made, make a mistake, that will go ahead in the race. So we always help this, all the souls who wants to go higher ahead in the race. Baba says that if someone fell down, are you going to push that soul or you, you're going to lift that soul? So the souls who lift, who has fallen, they are the great souls. And the souls who come back after mistakes, they have to loosen up on some expectations. But just come back to the senses and start again. Surrender and attach with Baba. Baba will bring the happiness back on their faces. And when if we attain that, if the fallen soul attains that happiness on the face, others around them will have to say, you're good, you came back. But if we just keep being sad, others will also remember the mistake we made. If we want to change, we have to get rid of the pride and the heaviness of the mistakes. So there is a story that there was a prostitute used to live uh, um, by the opposite to the saint. And the prostitute kept thinking that how pure this saint's life is. Always she used to praise him. And the saint used to keep thinking that uh, the prostitute is so bad. How What kind of life she is having? So both of them have this type of churning in the, their head. So when they died, Dharmraj sent saint to the hell and the prostitute to heaven. So we have to keep our churning, our thoughts to the pure level. Suraj Bhai Ji, was there any manka in your life? Yes, there were some in early life. And then I soon realized that this is not my life. Baba ki, I remembered Baba's knowledge and Baba's help and realized that that's not my path. I was under the palna of Baba. So I just maintained my spirituality and purity. So when 
our thoughts, our speech, and the actions are so elevated, people want to be with us. So that kind of state will attract the souls. So that is a good feel, but there is some negativity too. Yes, so many sends me these messages. That don't, they send me messages that remember me, I, I, my life is not possible without you and blah, blah, blah. So I'm just laughing at them. Like you have to stay connected with the up one above, not me. I don't even reply to them. We have to fo stay focused on our aim. The messages people still send to Suraj Bhai. <laughs> when I was young, there was no message system. There's an old, old Gyani soul is asking that this thing, the lust still affects me, harasses me. Baba, how can I get rid of that? So we have to keep our knowledge, Gyan, what Baba gives us very sharp. We have to win over the minute desires of lust. That those desires will give us bad dreams. So we have to check the little, little desires. We all know how, what kind of past we had. Those scenes are in the subconscious. So we must delete those scenes, keeping high self-respect and walk with determination on the path of purity. We have to always be aware of our aim and keep walking. There are there are people who are there who can make us disoriented. So we have to be aware of that too. At times, there are Kumar and Kumaris. They think that this this thing is attracting me so many times. So they, they may think that, let me just explore what is that. So let, let's, if I explore it, and then uh, I will be done with that. So what is the answer to that? The psychologists do say that, that experience that, then the desires will get ended. But the one who are walking on the path of purity, they have to get rid of this thought, this desire. If they taste once, you may not know whether you're gonna get more craving or not. So we have to completely win over with this thought and desire. Just leave it and just be self self determined and keep moving forward and the what that internal desire comes from within we can win over that with yoga yoga with baba and and yoga for of the five forms there are some who went in the family life And the 
and some who got married and then after getting married they are living the pure life so some is it okay if someone wants to try that way so answer is if you want to experiment then by the time this confluence age will end for example when brahma baba was a family man he didn't have this gyan all the saints who were married and then became saint they didn't have knowledge when they were family men but we have the knowledge now so we cannot think like that that is a wrong way of thinking we have to be brahmachari means who is walking with brahma so we have the knowledge we don't need to go away from it what is the role of food related to the determination we can create towards celibacy so our our food is very tasty it's not raw even we eat cooked food the allopathic medicine system will not think like that that everybody is different if every uh, the salad is useful for some so, somebody not for everybody for example cucumber is very helpful for uh, it's like a nectar for many people but some people it's very unhealthy so we need to eat sattvic pure meal the the food which will not make the stomach bloated we feel acidity we shouldn't eat late at night easy to digest food is advisable if you are eating only two meals in day that will be very good in the last meal of the day is while the sun is still shining on us no food after that so if we follow certain food regimen our body will definitely get uh, affected become pure and satvic and when the body is healthy and happy all the hormonal glands in the body will secrete all the good uh, hormones and the other person who is in the stressful situation the hormonal glands will not work as efficiently and also the stress hormone will get released so food the kind of food we eat has a lot of effect on our body how we digest it how we feel after digesting while digesting what kind of food we eat and how it is digested do we get the energy from it it all depends everything this becomes they takes the form of energy and just flow in our body all this inner uh, uh material the blood milk uh the food becomes energy the water becomes energy all of this just keeps flowing and energize and nourish the body so there is a there is a phrase in hindi anna jaisa man so means whatever we eat our mind will be like that so whatever we eat that will affect the mind and our mind the state of mind will affect again the digestive system hormonal system and all of that so while cooking 
we must practice the self respect i am great soul i am with baba play medicinal uh, meditational songs while cooking just feel the uh, purity and elevated state of our souls that type of food is so pure and nourishing and then we offer this bhog to baba so that is called satvik meal madhuban's meals coming from baba's bandara they are always pure and nourishing spiritually so the question is uh, we follow celibacy but sometimes we have to respect others and eat onion garlic baba say no to eat onion garlic because they are tamo pradan food they create the tamo pradan the bad quality the vices and lust in our body so that's why we shouldn't eat if your state of mind is good your spirituality is very pure then nobody will force you to eat the food you don't want to eat <laughs> so when you if you if you think like that you will say one day that i will i may have to drink a glass of wine or may i may have to drink or or, or smoke a cigarette so that's not right <laughs> i'm not uh, i'm not trying to pull your legs here but occasionally if once in a month or two month or two if you eat on your garlic then do some more yoga for yourself but if you have the power if you are determined in your dharnas then no one will uh or no one should force you and they will appreciate your efforts and if if we just bend or uh bend to their request then they will they will talk in our back that oh they are okay they are not so strong they are not so staunch so it's so that's why determination is required so when other uh, thing is that uh, when we when we can purify everything with the power of yoga why cannot we purify the food with onion garlic onion garlic wine alcohol non veg these are impure foods so when if we try to purify with our yoga it will be a repulsive effect it will not even affect to that if we, when you are in too much pressure sometimes you can uh, let it go but then you have to do a little bit harder yoga so another question is uh, when we are taking palna or sustenance from online only how can we be determined in this palna or or this path of purity especially when we don't have anyone walking in gyan around us it's a good question many souls are taking sustenance coming into gyan through online now you have the memories of our earlier forms so we have to be in that happy memory be in high elevated state and be determined listen to good classes online you become your own teacher we are here to guide you if you are 
little bit uh, feeling a little bit loose on uh, your determinations if you are feeling not determined to do amrit vela so we are here online too and there is one greatest online is from here up high baba is looking upon us and he's always attached with us so he is going to guide us all the time if i'm not getting support for for the uh, dharna of purity if, and it's not happening one year two year three year has passed so should i keep hoping for that so if someone is walking very slow we always help everyone and many take time it's okay many many sisters come to me and say that i finally attained the priority after 2 years so it's it's okay sisters do has to keep uh doing the boom boom of knowledge in in uh, their partner's ears and keep trying never lose courage one day you will get successful increase your yog power yog time with baba eat pure food do bhog all of that works there is example there is a sister from london she just came in gyan and uh, she was so fierce coming into gyan but uh, she also had to make her husband sahyogi supportive soul she started giving water charge water improved the food habits and all that and they both started walking in the gyan together i'm showing you one way when your partner is sleeping you do this study i am master almighty and then your inner strength inner powers will come on surface i am a victorious soul i am purest of pure soul and the pure vibrations will spread around you my spouse is my supportive soul my spouse is a great soul my spouse is baba's child we are both walking on baba's gyan together and do all this all this every day when person is sleeping and that will work on the subconscious level of that person so when only one will runs the other has there is suffering of unevenness the question is if 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 spouse is asking to go satisfy their desires outside what should i do yes if he let he lets you walk on your own way you shouldn't bind him either he's supportive for to you to be on purity there is example of this that uh, the husband got married to second wife in few days and sometime the second wife also started walking in gyan and then they all three are in gyan now so if we support uh, husband's actions into that thing then that will be our minute scene all the souls are getting upset and frustrated heart they, their heart breaks it's common that uh, you love someone loves someone and that a person loves someone else so divorces are very common these days but
it uh, it hurts on you on subconscious level and then it feels like the person who used to love you so much and now he's not in love with you anymore so that is going to hurt but we don't have to be so blind for anyone in this world we love only one only god only baba now so when we are walking in the path of purity uh, who someone some lost soul can affect the power of our yoga like the spirits yeah i do hear this type of news these bodiless souls they are very sinful and they affect they harass someone our sisters do get suffer because it's it's burning everywhere the fire of lust is everywhere around us so this is the practice i'm suggesting charge water charge water and uh, spread and sprinkle that around the house inside the house light baba's life in front of your home fly the flag of baba at your homes before going to bed chant 21 times may master sarva shakti van who 21 times and that will create a strong aura around us and around the house so that will prevent us from this bodiless souls so be careful so this is one more question that how the life is so beautiful the determinations are beautiful so i would like to ask you that what kind of dharnas you made in your life so that you could maintain your path i bounded my life in 1970 with this 10 uh, with the 10 slogans i made this 10 disciplines if i i stay strong in this life but our past actions are also following us number 1 is once whatever we left behind we will not look at back whatever we gave it to god we are not taking back number 2 we have taken oath of purity we will make it possible impurity is not our aim anymore we will have to save our life we have to clarify ourselves that what is my path this is my path not that every morning at amrit vela fill yourself with the purity of baba while cooking also study and practice the purity invite baba in the home five times do the different drills without doing drills we cannot be strong 
these are my these are my disciplines you can make your own make five disciplines of your own thank you very much these are very helpful these are very minute details we can learn from you and help us going forward in the path of purity and how we can stay away from all maya and illusions and false reality affecting on our souls i thank brother from all of us let us do a beautiful meditation we will invite bab dada and we will ask for complete purity let us go into incorporeal world with intellect invite oh almighty ocean of purity leave your nirvana down and come to me look Bab Dada is in front of us. Strong aura is spreading all over the home. Baba is giving drasti golden rays of purity are shining on my forehead and body rays of purity are creating a beautiful aura around me baba put his blessing hand on my head the pure vibrations are spreading throughout the body whole body is calm baba blessed me oh my child be complete and gave a divine gaze to me and went back to the home i am purest of pure soul is sitting in the middle of this divine aura om shanti Thank you very much. We will wave.
with one hand to Brataji. I'm assuring that we will all work together towards this. And we will meet again next week with your experience. You are the gem. You are the precious gem of this Baba's Yagya. And we are very happy. And we are thanking you from bottom of our heart. Shukriya.